ordering some Chinese food, we always have to order our top three go-to dishes. Fried rice, Yangzhou style, sweet and sour pork, and garlic green beans. Now, if you've ever had Chinese style garlic green beans, you'll know what I mean when I say that they are super addicting. And I literally eat them like a bunny munching on a sweet carrot. Now, there's a few ways to make garlic green beans, but the recipe I will be sharing with you guys today is inspired by the iconic Ding Tai Fung garlic green beans. And if you've never heard of Ding Tai Fung, it's basically a world famous Taiwanese dim sum restaurant. And they're most famous for their Sha Long Bao, AKA soup dumplings. But sadly, here in Toronto, we don't have Ding Tai Fung. And funny story, when I was growing up, we would always go to a dim sum restaurant called Ding Tai Fung and it's in Toronto. We always thought that was the iconic, world famous Din Tai Fung, but it's not. They actually added a G at the end of D-I-N, so they made it D-I-N-G. And pretty much every Torontonian was in shock once they found out. Anyways, today I'll be showing you how to make the staple vegetable dish at home. And you better watch carefully because things move quickly in Look at Chu's kitchen. So let's get garlic green beaning. So we'll only need two ingredients. I got some fresh green beans with stems still intact. And if you even think about using canned green beans, Immediately no, immediately no. We also got a few cloves of garlic, pre-peeled because convenience. And we're gonna first wash the green beans and make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm just gonna cut the ends off of both sides just because the ends are less pleasant to eat. But make sure not to cut off too much or else you'll be left with little beans to work with. Now, if your green beans are much longer, you can also cut them in half, but my green beans are a nice size, so I'm not gonna cut them in half. Now for the garlic, we want to bring out all that lovely aroma. So we're gonna smash it first, let all that garlic juice come out, and we're gonna finely mince it into little pieces. Now this is an optional step, but I highly recommend blanching your green beans before stir frying them. All you need to do is bring some water to a boil. Then we're gonna toss in our green beans and cook them for exactly 20 seconds. And the reason why we blanch them is that it gives the green beans a more vibrant green color and creates a more tender and crisp texture once you stir fry them. And this is also the method that Din Tai Fung uses. We're gonna remove them from the pot and toss them into some ice water. And the ice water will shock the beans. That will prevent them from cooking further while also retaining that beautiful green color. Once your green beans have cooled down, place them on some paper towels, let all that water absorb because when we fry it, we don't want oil to splatter everywhere. To get that beautiful blistered and wrinkled texture on the green beans, we gotta dry fry it. I'm gonna simply turn on the heat to high and add enough vegetable oil to cover the beans in. And we're just gonna throw one bean in and if it bubbles immediately, then it's ready to cook. We're gonna add our beans in, cooking in batches if necessary. Now dry frying is deep frying without any batter, thus drying the surface of the vegetable. And this method is what all Chinese restaurants use when making their green beans. And after one to two minutes, your beans should look blistered and wrinkled. If they aren't, then your oil is not hot enough. So you will need to cook them for longer. And you can place them on a rack or some paper towels to let the oil drip. And I'm just gonna add some oil to a wok on medium heat. 
We're gonna grab our minced garlic, toss them in, sprinkle some salt, and we're gonna saute it for a few seconds just to bring out some of the aromas. But make sure not to cook them for too long because they will burn. We're gonna add our deliciously blanched and fried green beans into the wok. And I'm simply coating the green beans in that beautiful garlic flavor. We don't need a stir fry for too long, around 20 seconds is enough. And to make it a little fancy, we're gonna stack the green beans parallel to each other until it forms a nice pyramid. And voila, let's head to the taste test. So this is the finished product and let's begin the taste test and I'm super excited All right gorgeous just like you look at that beautiful blister texture All right cheers first bites for you mm, nom 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 That is immaculate. <laughs> mm. This is a garlic flavor bomb. Mm. Green beans are nice and crisp. The garlic aroma has seeped through the green bean. Mm. I bet if you made this dish for someone that even hated green beans, they would love it. Mm. Mm. And if you love garlic, then this is definitely the dish for you. These are really addicting. I usually just grab one and then chomp away like. <laughs> it's really fun to eat and super delicious and quick to make. You know, preparing these green beans has quite a few steps, but in the end, you'll get this gorgeous plate of green beans. And in my eyes, this is definitely worth the extra steps. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys. Next time.